welcome back and hello if you are new my name is Sarah and I make a ton of plus size fashion content here on my channel I also have a bunch of other lifestyle content including mommy what's your dinner cook with me clean with me decorate beauty all that type of stuff so if any of that strikes your fancy I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and join our little family or give this video a thumbs up leave a comment interact it with it in any way that helps me out so much and I really appreciate it when you guys do that and if you haven't all followed me if you haven't already Oh my goodness, if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, I can never get through an intro. You should, you should follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. <laughs> anyway, today's video is yet another plus size fashion haul. I feel like I've just been cranking them out lately. I feel like I was just in a rut and I've gotten back to what I originally started my channel with, which is plus size fashion, and it's just been so much fun for me, and I've had so much fun, and I know you guys have really been enjoying it as well. So I hope that you enjoy this one just like the others. And today we're going to mix two different stores together. I've been kind of dabbling all over the interwebs. Um, and today we're gonna shop from a boutique, a plus size boutique, and then some Amazon. So the first one we're gonna start with is Chic Soul. You guys know how much I love Chic Soul. They're an online plus size fashion um, boutique and they have adorable, fun, just great clothes. They're a great company, wonderful, amazing team to work with. Um, they sent over a couple of things for me to check out and give my opinion on. And this video isn't sponsored. I don't get any commission or anything else. They just send me some clothes to show you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys those. And then I have a couple of pieces from Amazon that I wanted to show you. I've had requests from both of those places uh, to do a video from both of those places. So I decided just to smush it all together. So um, yeah, we're just gonna randomly start. I'm gonna start actually with the thing that I'm wearing. This is actually from Chic Soul and it's probably my favorite piece that I got from this haul. It is so gosh darn company comfy. You will see in the try on haul. So this is the try to tell you maxi dress in gray. This is one of the most comfortable maxi dresses I've ever had. I this is like the perfect transitional piece from when you're coming out of the pandemic and you've been able to wear loungewear and just be comfortable at home and don't want to have to like feel like super constricted or put a lot of like fussiness into it. This is a perfect transitional option because it is so gosh darn comfortable, but you look so put together. You could easily dress this up or dress this down. As you can see in the try on haul, I did like a bottom tie knot on the bottom of it just to add a little fun um, and functionality, I guess, to just give it a little bit easier and breeziness to walk. Um, but you could tie like it at the waist, you can wear a t-shirt over it and tie it at the, um, like put like a knot in the t-shirt. You could layer this. Like, there's so many different ways you could do like um, dresses up or dresses down and I just feel like it is the perfect transitional piece it is so soft like I would wear this to sleep it is that soft that comfortable has a great amount of stretch in it has pockets which is so wonderful I'm wearing it with just a simple black bralette I get questions a lot when I show this this is from like I think like Rue 21 or Forever 21 years ago. I love this bralette. I want to find more. I wear it way too often. It's just so comfortable. But this is probably how I wear it anyway, just with a little black bralette, just to be easy. Um, this is like a run errands type of easily dress that still makes you look put together. If I have to stop by like a party or something, I could easily do it in it. I love it. Um, but like I said, this one has pockets. It is, I am 5'5". Five, five? Uh, that's normally you guys ask me a lot normally what my height is I'm 5'5 five five, and this goes and touches like just the tops of my feet um, it doesn't drag on the floor or anything but if you're a little bit taller a little bit shorter then that's how it fits on me um, but I absolutely love it I think it's so cute favorite favorite piece this is $36 I highly recommend it I just I also feel like I haven't seen a whole lot of this particular type of maxi dress in store so I feel like it's perfect especially something that's plus size Highly recommend it. I love it so much. All right, moving on. So this next piece, um, I wanna also quickly say that I get asked a lot about um, if I will do like maternity clothing haul or maternity friendly clothes. And we are currently trying for our third. We had a late loss just about a year ago, the year ago next, this month. Oh my gosh, wow. Um, and we've been trying. It's been a long, hard journey for us, but I don't know if I feel quite ready to do maternity clothes especially when I'm not pregnant I don't know if that'll be good for my heart so um I will definitely do that when I'm hopefully God willing be able to get pregnant again so right now though I will always and I try to remember to do that with every haul is always share with you things that I think are maternity mama friendly um postpartum just mom friendly our bodies changed and ebbs and 
flow so much during pregnancy and after pregnancy um, and they're just different needs and wants when it comes to clothing at least for me that's how I felt um, so I will always try to share with you if I think this is totally something you could wear pregnant postpartum what have you um, so yeah so just keep an ear out when I talk about clothes because most often everything I show is pretty much maternity friendly um, but so this next piece and this this would be so cute with a baby bump um, but this next piece is I think really great for maternity this is this really fun like how fun every clothing haul I've showed you I think this summer has had tie-dye in it because it's my favorite I love love this this is from haptics by holly harper um, i've had a couple of haptics pieces from chic soul before and they've been all wonderful this is super soft it's that like suede type of jersey fabric almost it's super super soft lightweight but has almost that super like suede comfort to it i don't really know how to describe it um it's a v-neck and it just flares out into a peplum on the bottom now this particular item is in a 1x and this is the um, tropical crush top in yellow multi um, and i would absolutely not size um, up in this one buy your true to size or size down i would actually recommend probably sizing down um, because this one definitely runs on the bigger size um, but if like I said like if you are currently expecting this is definitely going to give you enough coverage over your baby bump and be able to stretch and flow with you or if you're postpartum I love it it's really really comfortable perfect to wear with some leggings or some shorts some biker shorts and just be on the go it's so fun like I just love all the different colors it looks really fun with the tan I have some self tanner on that's slowly fading away so I'm just trying to soak it up as much as I can before I have to go another round um, but I like it. It's really, really soft, really comfortable. I would absolutely, though, probably size down one because it definitely runs on the larger size. All right, this next top is called the Hold You Closely Top in Charcoal. This is also in a 1X. And again, this print or like fabric style pattern, acid washing, is totally my thing. I love like black or gray that has like the bleach kind of acid washing to it. I love the way that looks. I just think it's so cool. Um, this gives me all of the really big popular graphic tees, concert tees, band tees vibe that are so big right now without having to actually have a big graphic on it. If you are not someone who likes graphic tees like that, I feel like this is a really happy medium. I love the seam that goes down the back. I just think that adds a little bit of something something to it. Um, this is really, really, really stretchy, really comfortable. I would say pretty true to size. Um, I wouldn't size up in this one. Um, if, for those of you who are watching me and you've never seen me before, I'm a pretty true 16, sometimes 18, just depending on the time of the year, the clothing store, all that type of stuff. But I'm a pretty true 16, size 1X, and this is definitely fitting for that. I love the slits on the side. I just think this is just so comfortable and cute and perfect. Like I said, if you want that kind of band tee without having a big graphic on it, I know what's really popular now is to cut up tees again. Do you guys remember doing that in like middle school and freshman year? I feel like that was like the thing is like to cut the sides and like tie things and all that stuff. And I've seen so many tutorials lately for doing that type of stuff. It's super in and popular and I feel like this would be really cool to do that with. Um, but if not, it's structured enough where it's not super like just frumpy. Um, I think this could be really cool with tied certain ways and knotted and all that type of stuff. I'm really interested to see how I can style this. I would love this with just some gosh darn basic black <laughs> biker shorts and some vans or some converse. I love the, the rockerness of this. It makes me so excited. So I love this. Super cute. Definitely could just like rocker it up. Totally different vibe from what I've just showed you from the like tie-dye to more, you know, rocker style, but I love it. Next and lastly from Chic Soul, I have this tank. This is their Weekender dotted tank in passion fruit. This is in a 2X and this is what I would stick with. I happen to really like really flowy tanks. I don't like things that are super, super fitted. Um, so this is the size that I would stick with. And I love this. I think it's super cute. I love the little like hobnob dotted type of print or like pattern of this i think it's so cool and so unique i've never really seen this before um it makes me feel like something that you could easily like kind of dress up because of that fabric 
um, and you could wear this to like dress it up with some work pants and like a cool like jacket or blazer and you could rock this for work or for like for me just be something really easy and breezy that you could wear with some like denim shorts or like white denim shorts I feel like could be super cute with this it looks so nice against like a tan that's slowly going away but I feel like this is just pops so nicely uh, against a tan or deeper skin tone um I love it I think this is so cute it, I don't have anything pink like this which is crazy because I love pink so I'm super excited it gives me like Barbie vibes in the best possible way like I feel like you could totally jazz this up and like make this so fun for like 80s or I know like Y2K fashion is coming back but if you want to do that more like in a mom friendly way this is like perfect I love it really lightweight perfect for again for summertime you can dress it up dress it down so cute they have a bunch of different types of their weekend dinner tanks um, and if you just like a flowy tank like to be able to just like kind of tuck in the front but kind of flow around in the back this is a perfect uh, cut and style for you so would recommend it all right that is all from chic soul i will have again everything linked below and i do believe i have a coupon code for you um that will save you some money i will have everything like written down and linked for you below um i don't get any commission or anything from that that's just sh shares you tells them that yeah i sent you that's what i wanted to say um but of all the things i recommend this maxi dress it's my favorite i love it i will wear it all summer my husband will probably be like please please stop change out of it but I love it <laughs> moving on to Amazon I haven't done an Amazon plus size fashion haul in so long I just felt like I wasn't finding anything I feel like Amazon was like super super great and then all these other stores just I felt like we're doing better prices better options like so I haven't done Amazon in a long time but I did find a couple pieces that I do really like that I'm excited to share with you so let's just dive into that so the majority from this one I feel like are all like neutral colors um, I don't know, let's guess where I was shopping and what I was looking at. I love this tank top. So again, I don't know, it's just my thing. The grays, just like a basic tank. This is, um, it has adjustable straps up here, but it is a ruffled, like, tiered kind of tank. So the tiered dresses are super, and I have one to share with you, but I haven't seen a lot of ruffled, like, just tank tops, which I just feel like are super nice to wear with jeans, leggings, which is probably how I'll wear it, biker shorts, what have you, just to be able to not have to worry about wearing a dress, but something that you could just throw on and still gives that vibe. I love this. I love the cute little, like, ruffles and the tears um, the actual fabric is kind of stretchy it's kind of a jersey fabric but the tears do kind of constrict a little bit of that elasticity a little bit so just keep that in mind I do believe I got the largest size no I got a 2x I don't know if that was the largest size I'm not positive but I'm happy with the size I think it looks really nice again it's probably something I would wear with just like a bralette and go just something really comfortable and easy that still has like a fun like little feminine touch but is it a darker muted color I just love it I think it's just such a perfect easy basic summer staple which is what I like so um, again like I said this is in a 2x I love this I will be keeping this I think it's adorable and super just fun and different than just the tier dresses I like the tier top I haven't seen really seen a lot of those all right, moving on. Um, that, by the way, was from a brand that I'm not sure that I've ever purchased from. This is from Sweet, Sweet Night. I don't think I've purchased from them before. But this brand that I'm about to share with you, I absolutely have. And this is from, I think, Kate Kaysen. I've purchased a lot of items from Kate Kaysen before. I love that brand on Amazon. They have a bunch of different clothes um, for plus size bodies and I like that typically most of the items that I have also run a little bit on the larger side which I also appreciate. Um, this is a true wrap dress so there is no like stitching or a faux wrap dress. I have always I really think have had faux wrap dresses which I think I prefer a little bit more than true wrap dresses because this is like a little bit of a gamble and I'll explain to you why. However this is stunning i think this is so beautiful for graduation parties summer weddings coming up bridal showers baby showers like this is so pretty so lightweight perfect for summertime it has a really nice ruffle sleeve right here that i think is just so cute um and elasticity i will say that i don't necessarily have super super large arms um that's not really where i care the most of the weight that's more down lower for me um but i do feel like it's a tiny bit snug on my arms um but it's not bad like I definitely think that it's still easily workable and there's still a little bit of wiggle room but it's a little bit tight on my like shoulder and arm areas um as far as like broadness goes so if you're super broad this may not be the one for you 
um, and then just is a basic wrap dress. I love the pattern. I love the color. I just think it's beautiful. I feel like it is so complimentary. I actually had this on in my um, one of my last videos with my kids clothing haul. Um, I just love it. I think it's so gosh darn beautiful um, and really, really, really comfortable. So like I said though, it is a true wrap dress, so I would absolutely either safety pin the front or put a little stitch in or wear a slip or something underneath it because it will just hello. Like there is nothing holding the actual like front of the dress closed. And so it just peekaboo all the time. So I absolutely would put some sort of coverage, whether it be like I said, biker shorts, a slip, a stitch bobby pin something in there just to kind of give you that coverage that you need however i think it's stunning i absolutely love it i actually may wear this um this coming saturday because we have a graduation party to go to it is so beautiful it's super super per cute and lightweight and perfect for just like more fancier events coming in the summertime like some date nights too it's just adorable i love it all right moving on to the next um tiered item now this is from grace karen which is another brand that i've shopped a lot um on amazon and i really really like i just don't love this on me i did try it on though when i didn't have any self tanner on so i may like it with a bit more of a tan but i think if i had gone with a different color which i should have done i think i would have liked it better better they do have it in a bunch of different colors i wish i would have gone with black but i got this like browning taupe color because i just it's so in and i think it's so pretty but i just don't think it did anything for me personally so i probably will end up sending this one back the straps are adjustable and again, it's that tiered style dress. So this one doesn't have any ruffles like the uh, the gray charcoal top did, um, but it is still tiered. It is nice and flowy. I will say that the fabric is a little bit heavier, so there's not as much flow and liquidity um, to it, but it's still really nice. I feel like it's it's not see-through. Like there is, you're not gonna see any undies or anything in this. There's a bit more of like that weightiness to it, but there isn't as much flow to it. So it's kind of like a trade-off in that aspect. Um, it's comfortable. There is a good decent amount of stretch to it. Um, again, I feel like I wish I would have gone with just a black, a plain black one. I feel like I would have liked it better. The brown isn't my favorite. So I will probably return this, but if you really like this color on you, or it's a color you've been searching for, give this a try. Um, it's just not, it doesn't, I don't feel like it gives me a lot of anything, you know? Kind of just looks like a sack on me and I don't love it. So that one will probably go back. This is the last item that I'm gonna share with you guys today. And it is a skirt. And this is from Exlura from, um, Amazon and I feel like these skirts are so popular and so cute. I just again It's like that. I just wanted this brown kind of coffee color I think this is actually the sh shade is coffee. They had a bunch of different colors. This is in a 2x um, And I just don't love it on me. I think that if I didn't have as wide of hips, this would be a real like keeper it fits perfectly fine like there's plenty of stretch in the waist like it's not too tight or anything on me um i just think that it just there isn't enough like flow at the bottom so it kind of just cups my hip and then goes straight down rather than kind of like flowing out um and that could just be like a static thing it could just be the way my body shaped i really wanted this to work this is like one of the top high rated items for plus size fashion on amazon like so many people loved this and they paired it with like a um a graphic tee and it looks so so cute and that was the vibe i was going for it but it just is not working for me however if you don't have as wide of hip as i do um my hips are like my largest part of my body i believe it's 50 i'm like 50 inches around not inches centimeters inches what have you i measure 50 going with that anyway they're pretty big all right if you don't have super wide hips like i do i feel like this could easily work for you or if you just don't mind like kind of like the cupping of the booty um but for me i just don't love it it makes me sad because i think it's so gosh darn cute it's super highly rated though so it just may not work for me it may totally work for you i think it's a really nice quality skirt like i love the waist it's really nice and thick up top it has that paper bag waist 
kind of um, pattern and design on it. It's pleated. It I would say it's a little bit sheer, like I probably would wear this with like a darker, like maybe some biker shorts or something underneath it. Um, like I wouldn't have like something really bright underneath it because I feel like you could see through it, but it's not terrible. It does have pockets, which is really nice. And this is a pretty true midi, at least on me. And again, I'm 5'5". Five five. Um, I just don't think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to send it back, which is kind of sad because it's adorable, but just doesn't work for me. But again, not a bad skirt. <laughs> um, a lot of you guys were saying that you were thankful that I was really being honest as far as like if I plan on keeping something or returning it and I'm just trying to be better about it because I would keep pretty much almost everything unless I absolutely just couldn't stand it um, or just really disliked it and didn't see myself wearing it. But if I liked it, I was like, yeah, I'm going to keep it. But I'm trying to do a better job of really being like, is this something that I know that I'm going to wear and reach for quite often? Like my chic soul stuff, which is just going to be so something easy that I know that I will get so much use out of on the day to day. But if it's something that's a bit more fancy and things that I'll have to wear for special occasions, I want to make sure that I will continually reach for them. So I'm just trying to be a bit more mindful about that. Um, so yeah, it's not necessarily nothing is bad from this haul. I think everything was great quality and I really loved everything. It just may not be worked for me, but it doesn't mean that it won't work for you. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, I've had a lot of requests to do another Shein uh, summer haul because the last one I did like that was regular clothes was spring. So I have that on the way. It's coming really soon. So if you're looking for some more Shein fashion, which I know so many people, that's like their main place to shop right now. So I will have that coming for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I gave you some good ideas. Don't forget to, to check the links down below if there's anything that you would like to shop. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.